So there's the transmission. Uh, it's an ugly thing. It's been uh, pretty badly uh, weathered, but I think there's probably, it's been stored in a barn, so it's dirty. But I think there's a fair amount to work with there. So I'm getting ready to tear into it. This ought to be fun. So after a huge amount of work, probably about the last three weekends, um, those are all the bits, bits and pieces and parts from a Healy overdrive and gearbox. Um, I will confess that I was pretty horrified when, uh, when I first opened up the gearbox. Um, it had been drained of oil approximately 40 years ago, and uh, basically I saw rust, and, um, and there was certainly some rust in there. Um, most of it cleaned up really nicely. Uh, wire wheel did great things. Um, you know, I, unfortunately, it's just not the, the happy ending story that you see with, um, with most of the videos online. Uh, some of the problems I had were, let's see, second gear, which almost never wears on these things. Um, if you look at mine, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's rust pitting. Um, and uh, that's just not something I can reuse. Um, this is not a part that's manufactured um, by anyone. And so um, I, uh, I went on some internet forums and within uh, basically a day, I had three people that were willing to sell one to me, which was amazing. Um, thank you, Leo. Uh, and um, let's see, and then this is my third gear, which is also has far minor pitting, but I'm just not comfortable with that. And so that's another one I'm gonna try to get replaced. Um, the rest of it has, uh, it's got pitting um, in spots. Uh, nothing really where it matters. Um, and so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be gutsy with some of it. Um, you'll notice on, uh, on this, uh, this piece here, that's staining, that's pitting, but it's not on any surface that, you know, it's not on any of the bearing surfaces. It's not anything else. Um, I'm inclined to try to reuse it and see. About the worst thing that could happen in my world, um, everything else looks good, would be if it's out of balance. And I don't really know, um, but I think I'm going to try reusing it. Um, the bearings were in, uh, actually the bearings aren't over here. Um, the bearings were in good shape with the exception of one of them which had a click in it. Uh, and so that's a brand new bearing I got from uh, AH Spares in England. Um, Everything else, I'm replacing the uh, the bulk rings, as I believe what they're called. Everything else came out really nicely, though. Um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So I have a uh, a box of new parts that came from England and some from Moss, and um, I'm getting ready to put it back together. And uh, this is this is exciting stuff for me. So. Um, Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how it turns out. But um, anyway, I'm really thrilled. I was, I was terrified, absolutely terrified, and um, and things are coming along nicely. So, anyways, thanks. Success. It's January sixteenth, two thousand and sixteen, um, and there's an Austin Healy Overdrive, and uh, it's the Laycock to Normanville Type A. Um, but anyways, I, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's um, Considering it was pretty much frozen when uh, when I started on it, it's um, it's free and easy now, and uh, and everything's good. Um, you know, I spent most of my adult life trying to find an Austin Healey to restore, and uh, each one kept falling through. And, and I'm sort of feeling like I dodged a bullet now, because uh, I don't know how on earth I could have ever been successful before uh, before the internet. And the tips and tricks and just learning how to do this stuff. YouTube videos, um, Magnus Carlson's uh, videos on the overdrive helped me tremendously. Uh, Michael Salter, uh, he has a blog and, um, and he uh, showed me how to build this little wire that comes through. And, um, and it holds this plunger in place while, uh, while you slip the, um, this is the main shaft right here. And, uh, and eventually there'll be kind of a, an offset cam on there, but um, pulling this plunger out of the play, uh, out of the way is necessary. And um, so I built that little wire, and then I can just basically wiggle it. It pops right out, and the wire will come out the hole. So, anyways, um, that's a magical little trip. Thank, thank you, uh, thank you, Michael. Anyways, um, it's come along great. Uh, I 
I would have never known I was capable of doing this. This is great fun. Um, next, uh, the, next will be the gearbox. Oh, uh, by the way, if you're going to do a gearbox and an overdrive, um, like I did, um, I think I, I dodged a bullet when I started with the overdrive. And the reason being, um, I have this, uh, this main shaft sitting free and I'm able to line up way down inside there. There's some, uh, there's some notches, uh, some splines basically that need to be lined up. I have no idea how you would possibly do that, that without um, a drive shaft. And I wouldn't have had a drive shaft handy had I not taken apart the gearbox first. So um, those things are really spendy and I don't plan on having a spare around. So anyways, so that was a happy coincidence. Um, onto the gearbox, which will come next. Uh, I found a source, actually I found three sources for, uh, for gears. Um, so I'm buying a new, or a, a new used one of that one and that one, basically second and third gear. Um, they're both pit pitted as I showed in a previous video and, um, British car parts by Leo.com. Uh, Leo's a great guy, very, very knowledgeable. And he he's, he's got all of these transmission parts available. Um, he gave me a great price. At least I think it's a great price. And so hopefully those will be on the way. Um, the only reason why they haven't been shipped yet is I've asked him for a couple more parts that, um, that he's looking around for. So anyways, um, that'll come next in the next couple of weeks. Um, people have asked about the chassis. The chassis is basically sitting in the garage right now. It's cold here. It's January. And, um, and so it'll probably be spring before I, uh, before I take it to paint. Um, it's been, uh, it's in good shape though. And, um, it's basically, well, with some minor, minor work, it's ready for paint now. So anyway, so that'll, um, that'll happen soon. But anyways, um, overdrive. I mean, what that's, uh, that is so exciting for me. So, um, I'm carrying on. <laughs>